hello everyone and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to set up a domain as well as https or ssl for your aws s3 website so let's say you have a react application or any kind of website that is on your aws s3 and you want to connect a domain to it along with ssl now this video has been requested by jonathan yi and a glimmer of light simply they wanted me to make a video on integrating route 53 with cloudflare a uh, cloudfront for ssl but the thing is you know Route 53 and CloudFront together, they cost you about, I think, more than $7 per year. But if you use Cloudflare instead of those two services, first of all, you get a full featured DNS as well as you get SSL for free. So instead of making a video on how to integrate it with Route 53 as well as CloudFront, I'm going to show you how to integrate um, Cloudflare as your DNS system for your AWS S3 website. So simply, I'm going to show you how to connect a domain to your Cloudflare DNS and how to forward or basically point that to your AWS S3 website. So over here, I have a domain that I've purchased from Freedom. This is a free domain since I didn't have, I basically didn't want to like, you know, buy a new domain for this uh, video. So I just got a free domain, devgano.tk. I got this on Freedom and I want to apply this domain on an AWS S3 website. So firstly, I have this simple HTML page and I don't want to basically, I don't want to make a React site over here. You can do the same thing. If you have watched my React AWS S3 video, you can do the same thing, but we have to redeploy our site here. So I recommend you watch that video first to understand how to deploy a React application or any kind of application to AWS S3, because we have to do the same thing over here due to some domain issues over here. Uh, uh, compatibility issues with AWS. So I have this site here. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to create new buckets. So if you have deployed your application already, that's going to be a problem because we need to create a new bucket. Now the reason we have to do that is because if we want to connect a domain to your AWS S3 site, the name of your bucket has to be the same as your domain. So for example, my bucket has to be called devganov.tk. So I'm going to go and create a bucket and I'm going to call it devganov.tk. This is going to be the name of a bucket and i'm going to disable block all public access because i don't want i i want the files to be accessible and i recommend again i've done all of these things and explained what everything does in my react s3 video so i recommend you watch that because i'm not going to be explaining anything here i'm just going to set up a bucket here to create a bucket okay so that's done and now i'm going to go to my uh bucket here and i'm going to enable web hosting so I'm going to click edit here, static web hosting, name the file index.html and then save the changes. And now I'm going to manage the permission policies, the bucket policies, add a new statement. And I want to call this statement um, public read object. This is going to be the name of my statement. The principle is going to be asterisk, effect allow, and the action would be S3 and this would be get object to fetch all the objects and the resource will be my bucket ARN slash asterisk. So basically giving read access, public read access to all of the files under this bucket, save the changes. And now if I go to properties, if I go here, you see it says 404 not found, which means it's trying to find index.html, but that doesn't exist. Now I'm gonna use the AWS CLI to sync my current folder with this here with with the bucket so i'm gonna hit enter and i've explained all of these things in my react video so if you haven't I'm, I'm saying it again please go watch that video see it has uploaded that file to the bucket here it has uploaded the index.html if i refresh it should show the file over here yep that's great and if i refresh you see this is a really really simple website just normal html this is my S2 website. Now I want to connect a domain to this with SSL. And I'm going to be using Cloudflare for that because that's free. And Route 53 and Cloudflare, they cost money. And uh, in my opinion, it's not worth it because the free plan Cloudflare has, well, it just works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Cloudflare and I'm going to add a new site. So I already have my own website here, but I'm going to add a new site. And the domain, this will be my domain, the one that I have over here. Click Add Site. And I gotta wait for a few seconds for this to get added. 
and over here i'm gonna select the plan i'm gonna select the free plan because it basically has everything i need i don't i don't need anything else you know i'm running my production websites using this free plan multiple sites under a single domain with subdomains so the free plan not gonna lie it's more than enough you have ddos attack mitigation uh sorry mitigation <laughs> like that and you got ssl with dns and stuff like that you can also have email forwarding which is great then scanning for existing dns records now i already had these dns records but i'm gonna delete this for now since i was basically testing a few things here okay uh at this point not gonna lie i'm gonna remove this like i was basically testing a few things here so anyways i'm gonna add a new record here before adding my site this record will be a cname record and the name would be at which means root so this is the domain and simply what a cname record does it uses one domain to point to another domain so over here i'm basically gonna go here and copy this domain here but instead i'm gonna remove the http the protocol stuff just going to keep the domain name here and make sure you enable proxy so that you get ssl so simply your connections are going to go through cloudflare so this is also good let's say someone ddoses your aws website they won't be able to do that you save this here and it says it's pending now we're going to click continue and now we need to change our domain's name servers so what this will do is this will basically give cloudflare access to the dns so now this is going to be different for every single domain registrar so for example for me i'm using freenom so i'm going to go to manage domain and if you use namecheap or hostinger or godaddy it's really like, i'm not sure how you're going to do that but you better search out how to change name servers to so go to name servers and you see here these are the two name servers i'm going to copy this here you know simply just paste it in here and then copy this one so these two name servers paste this change name servers and then great so over here you see when you use name servers these are the ones that are being used and if i click done check name servers i can finish this later and i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna click name uh, check name servers and for now like it, it wouldn't show anything as far as i know it's gonna take okay never mind yeah so the name servers did get changed really really quickly if i go to dns you see i have the c name record and which means this is working so if i go to devganav.tk this one here you're gonna see that the site is showing up here this site is literally showing up but here's a problem if i go to www dot okay never mind my bad if i go to www dot here let me just open up i think firefox because i've never visited that site here if i click if you use www you're gonna see it says they're having trouble finding this site now the reason why i'm not having that issue here is because it all because i will already set this up before so it knows this is the site but if you go over here it says www is not working and if i go to the root site it is working but www does not work so the way we're gonna fix that is we're gonna go to aws and we need to create a new bucket here now the reason for this is because i want this bucket to just act as a redirection bucket now you can't really do that with the dns because if i set the cnm record to be www and then point it to the same domain this will not work because the name of your bucket does not have www in it the domain has to be the same as the bucket so we're going to create a new bucket that has the same name as our www subdomain we're going to create a new bucket and this is going to be www.devganav.tk and we're going to do the same thing disable public access create bucket this time we're not going to upload any files instead we're going to go to our bucket we're going to go to properties and when we enable static web hosting we're going to set up redirects and this is going to be the name of our domain our root domain and protocol is going to be https if i save changes here you see this is our new url if i go here it redirects me to this website but i want this url to be accessible from our www domain so if i go here to the dns and i put www.devganov.tk 
and I put this here, our new um, www bucket domain, set it to be proxied. If I click save, and if I now go back to Firefox, and if I refresh, okay, so it's gonna take some time for the DNS, I think. Okay, and as you can see, it got redirected to the devgano.tk website, www. And you see this is working here. Even if I, let's say if I curl this website, it doesn't show anything, but if I check the headers, you see this is a redirect request and it says redirect to devganov.tk. And if I go here now, you see this is a status 200. And if I remove the headers, you see I'm getting this content here. So in reality, this is actually working. We have now connected our site to this here. So yeah, this is working properly. And this is why I actually recommend to use Cloudflare instead of using AWS CloudFront and Route 53 because it's really, really simple and you don't really need to spend money for this. So I hope you've got answers to your questions and that is going to be it for this video so if this video was helpful please subscribe to the channel and like this video this will help me out a lot and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out